Hi guys, Mamie here and I'm back today with another tutorial. Today we're doing some water coloring with this really cute blue bonnet stamp. I got this um, at a local stamp store and it's called the Big Blue Bonnet. And I will have the person that creates these stamps listed below in case you want to buy one for yourself. So I'm stamping on some watercolor uh, cardstock here, and it is Strathmore 400 series, 140 pound, and it's one of my favorite watercolors. And I stamped that in Versamark ink, which is a nice wet ink that you can use for watercoloring. And uh, I just dried that with my heat tool and I am starting to color. So today I'm using the Kuretake watercolors and they are fantastic watercolors. Uh, they're very pigmented and I'm doing several layers today because I wanted to do a deep watercolor, deep saturation. So you're gonna see me kind of go over a lot of the same areas over and over again so I can get that deep color that I want. I really wanted it to be nice and bright so not just like a real blue bonnet. I wanted it a little bit more um, just bright. I like bright colors and I just thought that it would look cool if it had a little bit of modernization. So anyway, I am mixing together some of the colors from my Kuretake uh, palette but um, I don't have that in the picture. You can't really see what colors I'm picking up here. Um, but I will uh, list the watercolors that I'm using also down below. So here you can see that I am using the blue and I'm going around and around in the dark areas. And then after I finish with that, whenever I feel satisfied with the dark, dark parts of the flower, the dark shadows and such, I will take my water brush and wipe the color off of my brush several times and go in and remove some of that color from the highlighted areas or where, where I want there to be highlighted areas. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm using this great water brush. It's uh, by Pintel. Um, well, I take that back. It might be Marvy. I can't really tell. The, the, it's already, I've used it so much because it's awesome. It has a very thin tip on it. Uh, so you can really work on some small images with it. And I just really like it a lot. I've worn out the, um, brand on the watercolor pen itself. So, so I think it's Marvy. So anyway, um, after I finish with the blue areas, I'm going to move on with the purple middle parts of the blue bonnets. And as you can tell, this watercolor paper can take a lot of moisture and a lot of, um, of uh, removal scrubbing. It's just a really great watercolor paper. So I'm from Texas and blue bonnets are really big here. So we have a lot of blue bonnet stamps available in Texas if you're interested. And when I did this video, there was a lot of blue bonnets in bloom out and around. And then I'm just now having a chance to do the voiceover. So <laughs> It's probably been about two months I've had this on my phone and I've just been so busy with summertime activities I haven't been able to post it. But uh, I'm hoping whenever school starts I will be able to make more videos. Also I wanted to say that um, I've been updating my blog a lot more and I'm putting pictures of not just my YouTube videos, I'm putting pictures of just regular cards that I'm working on because I've been entering a lot of challenges. So if you go to my website or my blog at www.onejoyousskip, 
dot com. You can get you can see all of my cards there and all of the information for the cards. I don't have supply lists as of now because uh, I'm waiting for there to be more interest because it does take a while to load all the supplies down and then to link them all to where you can get them from. And I'd be happy to do it if, uh, if anyone asks. So um, just let me know. I do have some people that just ask me, hey, you know, what kind of pattern paper did you use? And I'll just r email them back and tell them what kind I used or whatever. So if you have any kind of questions like that, uh, you can just comment on my website. And so here I am mixing together a few of the blues. I'm trying to lighten up the blue a little bit because the as you move up the blue bonnet, the blue gets a little bit lighter. So yeah, anyway, uh, just go to my website and you can leave a comment. You can also go to where my other videos are located and you can make any suggestions that you might have there. And you can also see what challenges I've been entering if you would like to join some of the challenges. Uh, I'm trying to do weekly challenges and that's been pretty fun. It's been taking me out of my comfort zone a little bit trying new things so if you want to try new things you should do that too so here I'm mixing in a little bit of white because the blue bonnets start getting a little bit light blue as you move up and you can see just how pigmented these colors are I mean they almost take away the black line if you're not careful because they just have so much color in them. And I wanted them, I wanted a lot of color. I wanted it to be nice and bright. So I didn't water down these very much at all. Excuse me. And now I wasn't so sure about this green I wasn't really happy with it, but since it's just at the bottom, you can't really see it. And I actually, for the card I make, I actually cut it off anyway. Well, most of it. So you can't really see it. But I didn't really get the green the way that I wanted it. But I wasn't worried about that part because I was really just focusing on the blue bonnet part. Which I'm, I am really happy with. I think it came out really cool and nice and bright. So here I am just trying to figure out the best way to work with that green part, but I think I just gave up. I am doing the voiceover about two months later, so I can't really remember what was on my mind at the moment. But now I'm going to put the card together, and I'm using these Avery L dies that I really love because it comes with a variety of different dies. It has like a stitched oval and then like a stitched frame with a scallop and then it has like uh, a stitch oval frame with a scallop it's really cool so it's the Avery L sweet scallops dies and so here I just use the regular oval um, with the stitched around it and then I actually also use the scalloped oval there behind it and uh, and I'm just taking the same green I used for the um, for the leaves of the blue bonnet and coloring in this part. I guess I was hoping that this would kind of make make it all kind of come together, but in the end, I wasn't that excited about the green. I wish that I would have done a little bit more of a natural color for the green, but you live and learn, so um, it still looks okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? And so now I'm just using some craft card stock. Well, actually, it's a craft envelope um, that I have. I have some craft envelopes, and they're kind of flimsy, so I went ahead and took that envelope and closed it up so it would be a little bit thicker. 
and I ran an embossing folder over it. These are just Swiss dots, I think is what this one's called by Doris. I'm just cutting it down a little bit. Putting my card together here. Please excuse my nails. I know you guys don't care about my nails, but sometimes I wish instead of painting them, I would just leave them without any paint on them because I always end up chipping it all off somehow. Like every day I have to, I work with my hands so much that the nail polish doesn't stand a chance. So now I just pop that up with some foam tape on top of, uh, the card base and I'm just going in with my white gel pen and giving the blue bonnet some highlights you don't have to do this I don't sometimes I feel like doing it and sometimes I don't I think because it's so bright I really wanted to have like a nice contrast with that white And so now I'm just doing some finishing touches. And here I didn't like the highlight that I put there, so I'm just kind of getting rid of it a little bit. But just like to show even all the mistakes that I make that it's okay. And I think it looks good. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!